Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is the short version of Containers, Kubernetes, and Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deliver three applications in each of the different models. Uh, and we're going to start with physical servers. So if I was going to deliver three applications using physical servers, I'd have to buy three pieces of hardware. And on the first piece of hardware, I'd install an operating system. And then on top of the operating system, I'd install any dependencies and libraries. And then finally, I'd install the application itself. And that would build the first application on the first server. I'd then repeat the process for server number two and application number two. And then I'd repeat the process again for server three and application number three. And when I do it that way, when I manage hardware, operating system dependencies and applications, I'm managing a server. The next logical progression of that is to use a server with a hypervisor. And what that means is we go from three pieces of hardware to one piece of hardware. And on this uh, piece of hardware with a hypervisor, something like vSphere installed, I would begin by installing the first operating system and then adding dependencies and the application for application number one. But now when I go to work on operate, uh, application number two, I can install another operating system on the same piece of hardware. And I can do the dependencies and the application for application number two. And the same thing for operating system number three, dependencies for number three and the app for number three. So now I'm, I've consolidated three pieces of hardware down to one. And the thing I'm managing now is called a virtual machine. And it consists of the operating system, any dependencies and libraries, and the application itself. So I've moved and consolidated three pieces of hardware down to one but the rest remains the same uh, the way that I manage those virtual machines is with something called vCenter server the next logical progression of that is that again I've got this consolidated hardware uh, but now instead of having three separate operating systems, I now use an operating system with a container runtime. Now, the most common or most popular version of this is Linux running Docker. So if you've heard Docker before, Docker is a container runtime. And what that allows me to do is, con uh, after consolidating the hardware, I now consolidate the operating system. And I just install the dependencies in the application for App 1, dependencies in application for App 2, and then dependencies in application for App 3. And now what I'm managing is just dependencies and applications. I don't have to worry myself with the hardware or the OS anymore. Uh, and that's why containers are so uh, simple and lightweight and why they're very easy to deploy in different places because it's just the app with all its dependencies. I should be able to deploy this anywhere that I can run a container runtime like Docker. And in fact, it's so simple and easy to deploy that Lots of people find that when they start using containers, they end up with lots and lots of containers and lots and lots of um, hosts and servers running uh, a container runtime like Docker. So it may be that I've just deployed lots and lots of containers. It may be that I've decided to deploy things in a more cloud native manner. And for application one that I've maybe deployed in Europe, I'm going to deploy it again in maybe Asia Pacific and then again in the Americas and the same for app two. I deploy one copy in Europe the one in Asia Pacific, one in the Americas, and the same for App 3, deploy one in Europe, one in Asia Pacific, one in Americas. So I've now got resilience and fault tolerance because I've got multiple versions of this app running in possibly different cloud providers in different parts of the world. So that's just another reason why you might have uh, more containers than you would normally expect because they're easy to deploy and they help you with things like high availability as well. Now, when I have lots and lots of containers, I need something to manage them and orchestrate them. And the industry standard tool for doing this is something called Kubernetes. So it's Kubernetes that you use to manage and orchestrate lots and lots of containers. So that's the end of, this, of the short version. I will be doing a more detailed video as well. But thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.